Hello everyone, this is lesson 14. Um, I'm starting on page 78 and I'll work on page 79 as well. So today I skipped lesson 13. Um, we'll do lesson 13 tomorrow. So this is lesson 14. Um, we're going to be constructing parallel line segments and then analyzing the relationship um, between the coordinate pairs. Okay, so again, this is page 78. All right, they want us to use the coordinate plane to complete the following tasks. Identify the locations of P, R. So here they're just asking for the coordinates. Um, I want to look at this range. It looks like they are going one, two, three. This is each one. Okay, so um, P is at six, four. And R is at 11, six. Then they want us to draw PR, so you need a straight edge. Draw the line for PR. And I want to point something out too. Um, we're gonna be doing different things with lines and segments and stuff. So see how it says PR with um, the line above it with the arrows? That means you draw it that way. There needs to be arrows at the end. All right, plot the following coordinate pairs on the plane. So we're doing S and T. S is at six, seven. So here's six, seven. This point is S. Notice that I am labeling the point. And then T is at 11, nine. Draw ST, so again, the arrows on the side, it means it's a line, so I'm going to construct that line. And again, if you guys have rulers, which I think a lot of you do, use a ruler um, to do this. Okay, draw ST, we already did that. Now it says circle the relationship between PR and ST. Okay, so I want to show you what some of these symbols are. If you notice in between the PR and the ST, there is this like upside down T. Um, so it kind of looks like this. That means that they will intersect. So that means they're saying that the line PR and the line ST will intersect. <clears throat> this double line that looks like that that means parallel, okay? So intersecting, parallel. So what's the relationship between PR and ST? Well, they look parallel to me. I can check that by counting the distance between the points. Between T and R is one, two, three. Between S and P is one, two, three. So they are parallel. They will always be uh, three units apart like that. All right, um, give the coordinates of a pair of points U and V such that UV is parallel. Remember there's those double lines parallel to PR. So basically I'm making another line. This is, this is PR right here. I'm making a line that is parallel to that. Um, all I know is that I need to make points U and V and it needs to be parallel. So I can do really anything I want here as long as it's parallel and as long as I am using U and V, easy enough. Um, so what you can do to make parallel lines is count um, boxes down. So let's say this is three units. How about I make another one that's three units? So this is one, two, three. I'll call this U. And then let's go from a different point um, from R. One, two, three. Oopsies. All right. And then that needs to be called V. All right. So remember to make them parallel, you can just count down. And you don't have to do three. I could have done two, I could have done one, I could have done four, whatever. They want us to draw the line. And then give the coordinate um, the point. So U was at six, one. V was at 11, three. Okay, easy enough.